Hey, Auburn Trojans, it's Mr. Gardner, your principal. It is Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Um, I wanted to reach out to our senior class. I've been sending them a video last week. I think you all got it. I didn't mean to do that, but I thought, okay, that's just a little more information out there. And this is my weekly video for the senior class, and I'm going to send this to all students too. Um, and here's why. I've been meeting with uh, various teachers. We've been doing Google Meets and talking a lot about how the first 10 days or so of school has been going. And for the most part, it's going really well. Um, here's here's the concern. Um, it's, it's students who, um, and there's no judgment here. I just want to let you know the feedback I've been given. The, the, the students who are kind of minimally um, engaging in classes, they're, they're showing up when attendance is taking um, or taken, and then they don't show up again until, you know, maybe not even until the next day, maybe at the end of the lesson. Um, the learning blocks are 80 minutes each, uh, which we all know is a long time. Uh, teachers are learning how to use those 80 minutes. It's a lot different. Um, and, and when I used to teach, I went from a 60 minute to a 120 minute period. And then I also taught in an 84 minute period, but it's different when you're live with each other. Um, but when you're doing this distance learning, there's just so many different challenges that go on. And, you know, what are their challenges in each other's homes or from a teacher standpoint, we're all just juggling a lot of things. But here's my main message is, is don't be a minimalist when it comes to your education. Um, don't minimize um, the importance of it um, if it's your choice. Of course, there's things that I'm sure everyone's uh, experiencing they're having to wrestle with right now during this uh, pandemic, but, but do whatever you can to make your education a priority. Um, we've kind of shifted um, administratively and the counselors and so forth. We've kind of shifted the way we're um, approaching school right now for this distance learning time. We're really focusing on um, our parents, our families. Uh, we're gonna rally and give everybody as much information and support as they can have um, to help them uh, so you guys can have a great educational experiences. Um, our teachers are really the ones focused on our students right now. I mean, we're all here to help you guys, but at the end of the day, it's going to take everybody. You know, uh, nobody achieves anything without the help from a lot of people, and sometimes that goes unrecognized. I want to recognize the important role your parents and guardians um, and the people you live with play in this. Um, and, and if you need to maybe set some boundaries up, uh, let people know what you need to do to protect your education. Um, don't be a minimalist, uh, maximize this opportunity. Um, we all know it's not as good as being in, in live brick and mortar, but I also have talked to some students who feel like this really has worked out for them very well. So, you know, there's pros and cons of everything we do. And, and I just wanna say that we're also learning a lot during distance learning that we're gonna be able to bring back to the brick and mortar classroom. Um, and I'm hearing that from teachers also. So, um, yeah, I just want to leave you with that. I don't want to make this too long. I wanted to get my message out. I wanted to really let you know that, uh, you know, don't be a minimalist. We do have an open house next week on Wednesday evening, the 30th. Um, my other hope is that you will join the open house with your families. Uh, maybe you can let them access it through your Chromebook and you can kind of experience it all together. And I would invite more conversations if you are having any type of, um, you know, issues within the home as far as making sure that your time is being protected to learn, um, whatever that might be. I know some of you guys are probably juggling other duties too, so we're sensitive to that. And, um, you know, just all the things that are going along with being part of this pandemic. Uh, nobody likes it, um, but at the end of the day, um, it's all going to be behind us at, at some point. And then it's really about what do we have to show for it after that. So. Um, we're doing everything we can to educate you guys, and you're doing a great job showing up. Attendance has been good, at least, you know, the things we see through Skyward. But the reality is we just need to make sure that you're making really intentional, uh, quality-minded touches each day um, in your classrooms and, and during Troy time, too, for that matter. You know, since we started Troy time at Auburn High School, our attendance rate and our graduation rate uh, continues to climb, and we know it's a big bribe byproduct of having that extra time in the day to take care of the needs you have academically. Um, so we're really glad we're able to preserve that even during distance learning. We know how important it is. You're also earning a quarter credit each quarter for that. So um, don't let that go by the wayside. Every one of you need 24 credits to graduate. Um, and as you guys know, in a six period structure for four years, that's 24. There's not a lot of wiggle room. So if you were to maybe lose out on an elective credit here or there, it can be made up just because of Troy time. 
Um, and of course you have to do your career cruising and all those pieces. But anyway, I didn't want this to get too big and now I'm making it too big. Just engage, attend, um, open up your cameras to the best of your abilities. Your teachers would love to see your faces. Sometimes you do have to show your avatar because you know things might be going on in the home. Um, and we understand that. So, so just know that. But I just want you to know that we're in this with you. Uh, we believe in you guys. And I really believe in this teaching staff. They're second to none. I've been telling them since March, if anybody's, anybody's equipped to handle these types of situations, um, we are. Uh, you have a good staff. They're very resilient. Uh, they lean hard on each other. They pick each other up. This is, this is really hard work. And uh, it's the most important work. And it's the right work. And there's no quitters out there. Um, your teachers are really in it for you. And I just want you to know that. And I just want you to do everything you can to meet them halfway, okay? Because at the end of the day, this is about you and then what you're going to have to show for it once we're out of distance learning, okay? Have a great day. Have a great week. Seniors, you're amazing. Um, I'll be sending out another video to you guys uh, next week, a little bit more about our senior class meeting coming up. Unfortunately, it's going to be a recorded virtual one, um, but I'll get you info on that. Okay, have a great day, everybody.